The pictures of quantum reality are taken here at the European Particle Physics Laboratory in Geneva, known in the trade as CERN. This is where they probe into the heart of matter. This is where they smash atoms in order to discover how they're made. As the bits of these collisions fly apart, they leave tracks which the particle physicists can analyze and interpret, giving them clues about how the universe began. I'm a cosmologist. I want to study the universe on very large scales to understand how the universe got the way it is we're observing it today, um, how the galaxies and clusters of galaxies that we see got that way, where they came from. And in order to understand where they came from, you need to understand the physics of the very early universe. And in the very early universe, we're dealing with very high densities, very high temperatures. And um, at those energies and uh, temperatures, the theories that we need involve high energy particle physics. The idea of the accelerator is essentially, it's like a big, incredibly powerful microscope. And it's looking into the constituents of the particles inside the nucleus of the atom. Well, high energy particle physics today is sort of the natural continuation of the historical idea that we should look inside of objects to see what they're made of, so that um, we build microscopes to peer inside of objects, and then we um, discover that they're made of atoms, and we, then we discover the atom is made of a nucleus with electrons going around, and then we can discover what the nucleus is made of by, for example, smashing things into the nucleus and breaking it up. Now, the nucleus is made of particles, like the protons and neutrons. And these particles are the objects which are used, if you like, in um, accelerators like the ones at CERN. Um, and these particles are smashed into each other to see what they are made of. It's a sort of terrestrial astrophysics. The processes that occurred in suns billions of years ago are being recreated here on Earth. The energies involved are inconceivable. The forces unimaginable. 